we need to start posting our content in the admin section here so that we can have some of this. Now, in order to do this, we do need tables that we're going to use to store the information. So at this point, if I click on one of these items, uh, we need to know what kind of information we should save. So clearly we need to save an image, obviously, because there's an image here and we do need to save a title. We do need to save a date and we do need to save a category here. But if we click on this item and we see there's this featured image here, which is all good. And we have the uh, category, we have the title, we have the date. However, the, um, the content itself, the page content is uh, rather kind of random. So now you have two choices here. What you can do is if you want every story to have this exact format of information, then no problem. What you can do is you can create a category or a column in the database for each one of these items. Just give this title, for example, a column name, maybe last title or something, and then last text here, or final text here, and then last three images here, etc., etc. Now, an alternative to that is to just give the user a what is known as a WYSIWYG editor. Now, a WYSIWYG editor is stands for what you see is what you get. So this is how it's spelled here. WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. So if you look for simple WYSIWYG HTML editor, uh, you get a list here, but um, the one that is free for now is the summer knot. Uh, so just go to summernot.org, which is right here. And this is how the editor looks like. So we'll be able to uh, add text freely here and then edit it, put uh, some styling like this and so on. Even uh, load images like this. Let's see if we can uh, add some images here. Something like this, uh, reduced to 25%, something like this. So you'll be able to freely edit your content and that will be better, I think, so that each blog post is unique in its own way and you can put as much text and information as you want. So what you do when you're here, just click on download here and download the zip folder. And then once you get that zip folder, add it to your uh, main, um, this is the magazine folder. I've already downloaded here. It says uh, summer note. Uh, this is the version, current version here, but it doesn't matter. Just uh, download it and put it there. So we're going to use that in the next video. But for now, let's, uh, let's deal with the database. So once you download that, we are good to go. There's some information on it here when you click on get started and you can see how to do the installation. But no worries, we're going to do that together and see how to utilize that. Alrighty then. So for now, let's deal with the database, shall we? So we're going to go to the magazine DB for now. And in here, we see that we have a few migrations here. So we don't want to create tables from directly from here. We want to use a migration instead. So let's go back to our text editor. Let me right click where there is artisan, open that containing folder, and then open the command line to that folder. So I'll type PHP artisan, and then I'm going to say uh, migration, right? Make migration. Now let's look at the available. So for now, I'm just going to say PHP artisan. Let's look at the available options, shall we? So how exactly do we create a migration? So migrate install or make uh, migration right there. So create a new migration file. Awesome. So it's make migration. I'm going to copy that. So let's come back here and say PHP artisan make migration and the way we create a migration is to say create 
underscore and then you write the table name so here we want a uh, table named uh, posts so we'll say create posts table enter okay create post table done created migration I have no idea what it's still doing but uh, it seems it's still running something in the background I don't know what however if I go to my database and database folder migrations and I will see that there's a create posts migration here which is good <clears throat> So it has the timestamps that are allowed and the ID. So that's all we need for now. But uh, we need to create a second migration. But for some reason, uh, this thing is still added. I have no idea why. So I'm just going to cancel this because I don't have the patience to wait. And then I will go back to the folder and open a different command console. And in here, I would do exactly the same thing. PHP artisan make full colon migration. And then we'll call it uh, create uh, categories table. So table categories table. And uh, let's press enter. So the migration was created. Good. For some reason, it's still doing its thing again. I have no idea why. Let's go back to the categories and see that uh, the migration has been created. Very good. So we don't need this anymore for now. But then for each table that we make, we need to have a model as well to help with retrieving data from there. So let's go back to our command line. Let's do PHP artisan make full colon model and what is the model name in here uh, this model we try to create a model name that is the singular of the table so we're just going to say post like this and uh, because that represents the posts table okay let's try that again uh, create one more model uh, this one is categories. Now this one is a bit tricky because it's not just a singular with an S. There's IES there. Category like this, right? But it's okay. We're going to specify the table nonetheless. So let's just create the model. And then let's type exit to leave this place. So if I come back here now and go to app and then go to models i should find my category model my post model and the existing user model now if we go to the category model because i want to specify a table here so i'm just going to say protected and use the table variable is equal to so i can give it the table that i want it to look into so it's categories and the, the reason here is because I don't think it will guess what the table name is based on this unless we had written it that way without the S but this is okay we can still do this no problem post is okay because it's a posts table so it's going to guess quite all right so we're going to leave that as it is okay pretty good we're going to do more with uh, these uh, models later for now, we just want to run the migrations. And before we run them, let's add some folders or some more content to them. So currently there's just a table ID, but we need more than this. So let's see, I've written down a few things that we need here. So first of all, in the posts table, we need the ID, which we already have. We need the title here. Okay, so title, table ID, Actually, uh, we need the string here. This is a string. And then the string here is named uh, title, yes. So title, now we can specify the length of this title. 
I don't know, we can maybe put 255, that's entirely up to you. Maybe 100 characters is more than enough for a title. That's all up to you what you want to do. And so let's come back here. So we have the category ID as well. So we're just going to have an ID, another ID here, uh, move that. Oopsie. So instead of really the ID, we want an integer here. So we're just going to say integer like so. And then this integer is called um, category. Category underscore ID. But we're going to be using this to search for stuff. So we'll just put index here like so. Hopefully that is correct. All right, so then we have the image. We want to save an image for the post. That is the uh, featured image. And then we have the content itself, which is the body of the, the post. So here we'll have, let me duplicate this. We're going to have image. Now image is a string. So I'm just going to say string. We're going, we want to be saving the uh, we won't be needing the index here. We just want to save the, um, let's put it at 255, the path to the image. And then I'll duplicate this one more time. And this one is content. So for content, we're just going to put text here. So let's say content. Let me remove this because text doesn't have a limit. Okay, so let's save that and see if we have everything down correctly. So we will need an index here as well. So copy that, uh, put that there. Back again. Okay, so we have title, ID, category ID, image. Where is image? Where is image? Okay, there we go, content. And then a couple of timestamps. This is all good. So let's do that same thing to the category section. So go to the category migration. We have the ID, but then we just need a string of the uh, of the category itself. So category like that, and that's it. Just put an index here. And then of course, we'll put a length uh, to limit the category name, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe 50 characters should be enough because we don't want category names to be quite long. All right, so this should actually do. So let's go and run the migration and see if we've made any errors and then we can fix those. So I'm going to right click. Actually, no need for this. I'm just going to go to the folder itself. Where are my folders? There we go. Type CMD. And then let's do PHP artisan migrate. Now let's look at the options that we have on the migration here before we uh, click on uh, one of these, shall we? So there's migrate here, um, migrate, just uh, what does it do? Drop all tables, create the migration, reset, rerun, reroll. Show the status of migration, create a migration. Okay, so it seems uh, we have nothing to fear. We just have to say migrate. So PHP artisan migrate. Okay, so it's looking for the ones that it hasn't migrated yet, and then it's done. So let's go to our tables and see what we have done. Okay, so we have a few new tables here. There's category and posts. So let's go to the structure and see if things are actually good. Okay, so that's good. We do have our indices there. Very nice. Uh, we'd have none here. We can add them uh, by ourselves if we want, but uh, that's okay. So you can add these to the created I think created is more important because you might want to search using that. And then categories, let's go. There we go. Let's go to the structure. And that's all good. Let's add one more index to the end here. Index. Okie dokie. There we go. 
Alrighty then, now we have the tables that we need, that is good. Now we have to prepare the information that will come into these tables. So I'll see you in the next video.